Good morning, good morning, guys. This is Trucker Rudy coming to you this morning, if you didn't know. Yeah. We are up here in uh, Montana this morning. In 600 feet, yes, take indeed. the entrance to the left on by 94 West. All right there, RJ. We will definitely do that then. Yeah, we had us a good night's sleep. Now it's time to hit the road again. Get some good miles behind us today. Yes, indeed. This is not familiar territory to us, but uh, hey, we will make it happen. I believe I've been on this 9490 when we came to Seattle or even, you know, previously to that I've been on this road, but uh, I just came up from that way, so this is the first time I'm actually going to be on I-94, so, so yeah, here we go. Now we're finally going to be on interstate. Yesterday we were pretty much on back roads all day long. We just finished cleaning our, uh, our windshields, mirrors, all that good stuff. Miles. And now we are good to go. So we got 705 miles more to our first delivery place, which we won't be able to do today, but hey, we could get within uh, probably 80 miles maybe. That's possible, doable. Yeah, it says we gotta continue on this road for 369 miles. That's a few hours drive. <laughs> That's like six hours or something like that that we gotta continue driving on this exact road. I mean, later on down the road it turns into uh, I-90 from I-94 into I-90. So later on we'll be on I-90, but uh, they got some pretty good hills up there further west, so uh, we might start seeing some hilly stuff yet. This is nothing yet that we see up, the he up ahead there yet. We might actually be driving on some of those hills. Yes, indeed. Especially once I go uh, go off of the interstate there. I think uh, if memory serves me right on that road, I've been there before and it is pretty hilly. Pretty narrow and windy and hilly and all that good stuff. So there might be some good sceneries out there. For those of you that like sceneries, that's for sure. But we will make the best of it. We try and do a good job making our videos. Uh, although lately I've been noticing a lot of you guys are not watching anymore. I don't know what the problem is or... Uh, maybe you guys can give me some ideas on uh, what I need to improve on. Or uh, if you have something different that you would like to see or... You know come up with ideas if, if you guys think that these videos are starting to get boring then uh, let me know don't be uh, don't be afraid to say something tell me in the comments down below you know and we will try and improve on them if we can I mean obviously we can't do everything but uh, we can do certain things yes indeed we can but anyways, we'll make this a fantastic day in my opinion, so let's go. Alright guys, we are now coming into Billings, Montana, I believe. Yes, indeed. And uh, I think we're going to go make us a pit stop up here. There's a Flying J and a uh, pilot there here pretty soon. So I think we're going to go ahead and make us a little bit of a pit stop. We've been going for a good bile already so I think we're gonna go ahead and take us a shower and uh, maybe grab us a bite to eat so that way we're good to go and then we should be uh, good to go for the rest of the way right I would kind of think so anyways uh, I've been in Billings Montana before but I don't know if I've been here since I've had my YouTube channel I don't really know that, but uh, it's a gorgeous day out here today, that's for sure. I don't see any wind at all, it's nice and calm, 26 degrees Celsius, 
It is a bit on the warm side, but uh, hey, we're still uh, cruising right along here. And uh, but that's fine. Just that flying J. It looks like it's up there. Oh, yeah, I see a flying J up there. Yes, indeed, I do. I don't know if it's the. I'm pretty sure that's the that's the truck stop up there. So we'll go ahead and go make our way down there, and then. Uh, take care of some business right that's the plan anyways we are finally done with our shower and we had us a bite to eat and all that good stuff yeah it's like usual you know you go into a truck stop and next thing you know an hour is gone I just like that one pit stop <clears throat> but yeah now we are uh, starting to leave Billings, Montana. Yeah, that's right. We are uh, going to start making our way down towards our delivery place, our customer. And we got us another 420 more miles to go according to RJ to the truck stop that I have figured out that I can uh, legally make it to for tonight. That'd be my, basically my uh, maxed out hours up to there, but we can get it there. So that would be about 620 miles, I think, or something like that. So that'd be a good day worth of driving. Oh, wow, look at this old classic up here going by me right now. Wow, that's an old car. I haven't ever seen one like that uh, that's that old and still driving condition not being restored you know yeah well that's fantastic well I mean I don't know if the motor and all that's been restored you can't see that right but the outside doesn't look like it's been restored in a very long time that's for sure but they used to build them cars to last they don't do that anymore you nope. They just want you to uh, have it just long enough till where they're paid off. And then they want you to buy a new one again. That's their goal anyways. My opinion. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably tell you different, but in my opinion, that's what they're doing. But yeah, uh, look at that. We got some mountains up ahead of us there. It looks like pretty big hills anyways. But yeah, just... Cruising right along, it's pretty darn hot down here. Yes, indeed it is. We're gonna have our AC on full blast now, I think, here. This chicken house is open up here. Yes, indeed. We gotta slow it down a little bit. We gotta slow it down to 15 miles an hour, apparently. According to their sign up here. So let's make sure we go ahead and do that and then uh, we'll see what they got to tell us today. Yes indeed. I've been wanting to get a truck wash done in the last day already but I looked it up and there ain't no truck washes out here in this area so couldn't get me a truck wash anywhere but let's open our window a little bit and see if they want to say hi or what they want to do. Come to a complete stop before driving on to the scale. All right. We will go ahead and make sure we do that. Yes, indeed. We'll get on here real slow. Looks like he's kind of busy looking at something else. So maybe he will just give us a bypass or basically just let us go, right? That would be the goal anyways. Keep our eyes on that light. See if it ever changes. Man flashing park bringing paperwork. Alright. Well, we don't see any flashing lights. Continues being green, so uh, I guess that means we can get out of here. Yeah, there we go. We'll roll up our window so we uh, get 
nice and comfortable in here again. Look at that, they even have a big inspection uh, building right up here. So, uh, yeah, that's right. Yes, they're going to uh, inspect you properly if they decide to go ahead and inspect you. That's what it looks like. And I'm seeing some big mountains up there in the background. Yes, I am. And it looks like there's even snow up in those mountains yet. So I don't think we will be seeing any snow today, but uh, then again, you never know. <laughs> I don't know if we will get close enough to those big mountains up there, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. This, I think, is a beautiful scene right here. We got a nice little river here to the right, ladies and gentlemen. And in the background up there in the distance, you can see some high-rise mountains up there. And I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but there is actually snow on top of those mountains. That's how tall they are. So you know when it's uh, when there's snow up there that it is going to be colder up there than it is down here. Down here right now, we got is an amazing 28 degrees Celsius right now. I bet you that's closer to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, indeed. I told you guys we're going to go into a uh, new area that I don't think that I've ever shown really as, as as my YouTube career and driving truck. I don't think I've ever shown this area before. So this is going to be absolutely gorgeous going through these hills and valleys and all that good stuff, guys. But uh, anyways, we will talk with you guys in a few. We're on the phone with Mr. Jukebox, the almighty Jukebox. So we'll get back to talking to him and then we'll talk with you guys in a few. This is it guys, we have just made our turn on to, well, 191. Yes, indeed. We are now in Boze Man, I think it's called. B-O-Z-E Man. That's where we are, yes indeed. Downtown of that town, that's what it is. And we got a couple of bikers up here, so we're gonna have to uh, try and get into the left lane up here so we can go around it. That's one bad part about going to small towns. You got all kinds of weird traffic might have people trying to cross the street you have bikers you could even have drunks out here on the street you never know you gotta be super careful when going through towns like this as you can see national trails day that's what it is up here okay all right I guess then that's what it is looks like hotel all right, some kind of hotel up there. I can't pronounce that last name, but but yeah, looks like a lot of activities in this little town. That's for sure. But anyways, we are going to show you what we can through this little town up here. And well, this guy wants to make a turn up here, so all right, okay. And we will show you what we can on the road and hopefully we can show you some good sceneries. Yes indeed. Hopefully that will work out. But yeah, nice little town to go through. Looks like the scales are open early this before the DOT blitz. Yeah, I have to go down here to this scale up here. It's actually, my road is actually behind me that I was on. And it says, take left to go on to this scale. So, uh, they're open. There we go. Let's go ahead and see what he's got to say. Alright, looks like another driver is in there. Talking with him. We got to stop on each axle, it looks like. I 
that's what the other guy had to do too, so we will probably do the same thing. Just try and stop her real nice and easy. So that way we don't slam on this scale. Let's get on with our trailers and see what he's got to say about our trailer. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, look at that, he says continue on. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want to see. Yes, indeed. That's exactly what we want to see. So, now we have to try and figure out if we can uh, turn around and make her back to our road that we want to be on. Yes, indeed. Well, that looks like that's going to be a little challenging because there's vehicles coming all the time. Here we go. It looks like we should be able to make her on here now. As soon as these vehicles go by us here. There we go. And we're back in business. Yes, indeed. 900 feet, turn left on Norris Road. Yeah, we gotta go back onto this. Well, it says 84, but uh, yeah, that's where the GPS was rotting me before, so that's where we're gonna go back to. Yeah, there we go. Now we have left that scale and uh, we are making our way this way again. The well, US 91 continues on further south past that scale, and I could have done gone that way. But I decided to go this way because from when I look at the map that US 191 basically takes you directly through the big mountains up there. And that is the last thing that I want to do is go through some big mountains or something like that. So looks like if I go this, uh, well from that corner where I had to turn left to go to the scale, it is uh, further this way it's considered... Uh, I guess uh, Montana 84 for about 30 miles and then I'll be on uh, on 287 so then we will be uh, on 287 and I believe I've been on that before too but I definitely remember being on that uh, on that uh, US 191 and it is really zigzagging and hilly very hilly so if I can avoid that I'm gonna avoid that and that's what we are doing right now looks like we got a lot of people golfing up there yes indeed but anyways we're gonna continue cruising along here and go from there right here we are still on that 84 but it is a beautiful scenery up here. Look at that. We got a nice little river up here. A lot of people are in there fishing and doing all that good stuff. Camping, I guess. And all kinds of fun activities. And I got to be driving out here. Look at these beautiful hills up here. And you got this river that goes right alongside this highway here. Or the highway goes right along the river. Whatever one, whichever way you want to call it. But absolutely gorgeous. Now, service is crappy up here. I was, but uh, other than that, yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous day to be out here, too. Like, look at all these people there. Just, like, everywhere you see a pullover area, there's like four wheelers there, and they're like baiting in the water and fishing and doing all kinds of activities. But yeah, this is kind of the narrow roads that we have to travel on through going through these back roads up here but absolutely gorgeous though definitely breathtaking up here that is for sure oh we better slow down it says 35 mile an hour up here so we might want to slow her down a little bit yes indeed we don't want to tip our truck over into that lake do we or a river i meant to say no that would not be good yeah, look at that. It's a bit of a deceiving corner too. When you come from further down the road there, it doesn't look like a sharp corner, but it actually is a fairly sharp corner. Yes, 
yes indeed yeah I told you guys we were gonna show you some goodies yet eventually here we are <laughs> yeah that's just beautiful in my opinion I could do this all day long drive along here would be nicer though to be in the personal vehicle I could pull over and go bathe in the water myself right <laughs> Yeah, beautiful temperatures to be doing it too, so that would be awesome to do. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are stopped here on a little bit of a pullover area up here, and uh, we are getting ready to show you some awesome footage. Look at this, guys. I think the camera is going to be probably a little bit too far away, like because of the GoPro's uh, fish eye type of look, but look at that beautiful beautiful background picture yes yeah, so look at them beautiful mountains up there with snow up there and all that good stuff I took me a couple of pictures of that and I'm gonna be showing you guys those pictures yes indeed I will uh-huh I'm just sitting here on the side of the road and I figured you know what I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a spiel on what it looks like look at that you're gonna go down into the valley over there later on yes indeed it is absolutely beautiful beautiful up here what i'm going to try and do as soon as this truck is passed here i'm going to try and walk across the road there and i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a spiel on uh, what this looks like down here you know well there's a cur i think it's a camaro coming down like a new one something like that <laughs> yeah here we go we're gonna go ahead and go across the street and that's what I did with my phone I went up there and I stood way up there where the fence is and you can see a beautiful background picture of my truck just absolutely gorgeous so let's go back up here with the camera let's try and show you guys look at that that is beautiful I know it's a little windy up here but uh, we're going to go ahead and go up here anyways because I got my mic on here with that uh, dead cat on there and we're just gonna gonna go ahead and show you guys look at that let's take a look at this from way up here yes indeed look at that isn't that beautiful or what wow that is absolutely gorgeous guys I wish you guys could be here while well, you guys in the way you are yes indeed you know what I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can maybe do a Facebook Facebook life and see if I have good enough internet to do that just give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on what it looks like up here all right guys we weren't able to do a live show because the service was a little bit crappy right there on Facebook and stuff so it wasn't fast enough to do that with so uh, I decided you know what let's just continue on and cruise along and you guys are just gonna have to find out when I uh, release this video in seven days yeah you're just gonna have to make sure you watch it I think it was absolutely beautiful area up here so I think I'm gonna save me those pictures and uh, I'm probably going to get the, uh, I don't know what exactly, but uh, yeah, they're so beautiful, those pictures that uh, I definitely don't want to throw those away, that's for sure. I just had to stop in there and just say, you know what, let's take a few pictures and let's take a moment out, make a little short video and show you guys and all that good stuff, so uh, I hope you liked it. All right, guys and gals, looks like we have got us a little fender bender up here or something like that. Maybe a rollover, who knows, but uh, we definitely got us an accident up here, that's for sure. Yeah, still got the right lane open, but it looks like we got us a uh, car that almost looks like rear-ended somebody or something like that. Don't know for sure, but yeah, looks like a pretty bad one too. Yeah, look at that car. Holy smokes. Yeah, that looks like a rear end collision. This guy rear ended that person. Wow. Airbags inflated. Yep. 
definitely. Those are going to be right off cars, that's for sure. But yeah, things can happen in a split second, guys. Take your eyes off of them. Road, you know, playing something on your phone or whatever. Next thing you know, you're rear-ending somebody. I'm not saying that that's what happened in this case. I'm just saying that can happen. Say two seconds off the road, looking at something else could cause something like that to happen, you know? But anyways. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Hope everybody is okay though. Hope nobody died. That would be terrible. And yeah. We got us another 32 miles to go. And we'll be at our uh, Flying J that our goal was for today. And then we only have one more hour to go tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Oh, looks like we got somebody parked here on the shoulder too. See, that's dangerous too. I mean, unless you absolutely have to pull over and pull over, but if you don't have to pull over, wait till you get to a rest area or a proper pullover area, you know? Yeah, because something like that, you know, somebody not paying attention, playing on their cell phone, could wear off the road a little bit. Next thing you know, you're rear-ending right into that car, piling right in there. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. The sun is still up pretty high up there, so we should still get there by daylight. Yes, indeed. We are done for today. Yes, indeed. We filled our truck up when we got here and found us a good parking spot. Now we're done. So let's take a look at some of them mountains in the background up there you could almost say look at that wow that looks pretty cool pretty good spot to be parked here for tonight sun is starting to get uh, a little bit behind the clouds over there and a little bit behind those rocks it looks like so it should be dark here pretty soon it looks like but uh yeah we are definitely done for today so i figured you know what let's close this show while well, we can still show you those mountains and then uh, let's get to editing so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i think was awesome so if you did it uh did enjoy it as much as i did give it a big fat thumbs up hey do me a favor share this video man it is very important to me for you guys to share it because if you guys don't share it nobody else will find out about my youtube channel so i mean that helps me grow so if you did share it i thank you very much i appreciate that if you are new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you did, thank you. Welcome aboard. So we'll uh, be talking to you in the comment section. That would be fantastic. So with that being said, have a good one everybody. And we will catch you right here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy signing out. Behind me